All right, let's look at some homework problems from section 5.2 uh, on the section on natural log and trig integrals. So number nine, anytime you want to um, try to figure out the rule for indefinite or definite integrals, first look to see if we can simply rely on power rule to get to our solution. So in this case, there's only one term in the denominator. We can split this up into individual terms. So x squared over x minus 4 over x. And now we can treat these like two separate problems because we have two fractions separated by plus or minus. x squared over x becomes simply x. And then 4 over x, 4 times integral of 1 over x, we can think of this as the natural log rule. So integral of 1 over x is simply natural log of x plus c. x is a power rule, so x squared over 2 minus 4 natural log of absolute value of x plus c. Okay, number 11, uh, if we look at this problem, we can't rely on power rule, so uh, the next option is looking at u substitution. Uh, if we look at the denominator, you see that each of these terms, if we find, if we set the denominator to be the u value, each of these terms will go down by one degree, which matches exactly what we need um, with a numerator. So if we let the denominator <coughs> be the value of u, then our derivative should cancel out with the remaining um, x terms in the numerator. So once we assign that u value, we find the derivative with respect to x. So x cubed becomes 3x squared. Uh, 3x squared becomes 6x. And 9x becomes 9. We cross multiply, solve for dx. dx is du over 3x squared plus 6x plus 9. We make our substitutions. Um, the denominator gets replaced with u. dx gets replaced with du over 3x squared plus 6x plus 9. Now, this doesn't exactly quite match up with the numerator, but what we can do is we can factor out the 3, and that will allow us to have um, the terms in the parentheses match with the numerator, so this cancels out exactly. Don't forget there's a 3 left over, so we pull this out as 1 third. So integral of 1 third times 1 over u du is simply 1 third natural log of absolute value of u plus c. Okay. So u gets replaced, or uh, 1 over u becomes natural log of absolute value of u, and then we have our solution in terms of x. Okay, 15. All right, so uh, we can't go through power rule alone. U substitution, if we think about U substitution, if we let the denominator be U, the um, derivative will not be enough to cancel out the numerator. If we let the numerator be U, then the, de uh, the derivative will not cancel out the denominator. So we have to think about how we can rewrite this in a different form. So we look at going through uh, long division. So divisor gets, goes outside, um, dividend goes inside, and we match up the terms. x times what gives me x cubed, which is x squared. So put the x squared down. Uh, sorry, x, x squared up here. Multiply the, uh, the first term of the quotient with all the terms in the divisor. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times negative 3 is negative 3x squared. So we draw our line, change the signs. First terms will cancel out. Here, um, also the signs change. Negative become, positive becomes negative. Negative becomes positive. Now, it just so happens that the first term and the second term cancels out, leaving us with just uh, 5. So we ask ourselves, can x go into 5? It can't. So we have to multiply. Uh, we have to leave the 5 as a remainder. And since 5 cannot divide any further, we write the remainder as 5 over x plus 3, 5 over x minus 3. So now we're able to rewrite our fraction in terms of a quotient, which is x squared plus 5 over x minus 3. And hopefully this form as a quotient uh, will allow us to apply uh, the rules available to us. So integral of x squared, we simply use power rule. Integral of 5 over x minus 3, we can go through u substitution. So u value is x minus 3. 
derivative of u with respect to x is 1. Solve for dx, which is du. And so integral of 5 times 1 over u is simply 5 natural log of u plus c. And then that is the second portion of our answer. x squared is, we can use power rule, which becomes x cubed over 3. We combine the terms together, and we have our general solution. All right, number 17. Again, similar uh, procedure as 15. We look to see if power rule alone works. It doesn't. So uh, if we go through use substitution, uh, we can think ahead and see that neither the numerator or the denominator will allow its derivative to match up to cancel out. So we look at long division, divisor outside, dividend inside. Look at the first terms. x squared times what gives me x to the fourth, which is x squared. So we take the x squared, multiply through with each term in the divisor. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times 2 is 2x squared. Draw our line. Change our signs. Positive becomes negative. Positive becomes negative. First terms will always cancel out. And here, um, we have negative 2x squared plus x minus 4. There's no like terms, so we write them out all separately with the highest degree coming first. Negative 2x squared plus x minus 4. So now we match up again. First term of the divisor with the term that we just brought down. x times what gives me negative 2x squared, which is negative 2. So write the negative 2 down. Multiply the negative 2 through each term of the divisor. So we get negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4. We draw our line. Change the signs. Negative becomes positive. Negative becomes positive. And we cancel out. And it just so happens that the 4 cancels out with the negative 4, leaving us with x. Okay. We look back at our divisor. x squared cannot go into x, so we leave x as the remainder. So plus x over x squared plus 2. Okay. We haven't solved anything yet. We've just rewritten our problem in a different form that will hopefully allow us to, um, uh, to apply the appropriate rule. So we have our problem in a different form as a quotient. x squared minus 2, we can use power rule there. x over x squared plus 2, we can use u substitution. Let the u value be x squared plus 2. Solve for uh, find the derivative with respect to x, which is 2x. dx is simply du over 2x. Make our substitutions. The x's cancel out. The 2 remains. The u and du uh, gets, um, uh, gets plugged in. Pull the 1 half out. 1 half times the integral of 1 over u is simply 1 half natural log of u, which is x squared plus 2 plus c. So that's the last portion. The first portion, x squared, go through power rule, becomes x cubed over 3. Negative 2 becomes negative 2x. So we have our general solution with number 17.